Bienvenue et Conjure South et ConjureSouth.com. Welcome to Conjure South and ConjureSouth.com. Je suis comme dos le rano du de la go à Biriel, mais le médos et la bonde. I am Queen Comedos, the Hoodoo Queen of the Imperial Court of Milner Medos de la Bond, reigning over traditional Hutu, Obia, and Greek Greek of my family's lineage. Comedos Kanja, my family's line of over 218 years of remedies, recipes, and formulas within the space of Hutu, Obia, and Greek Greek, which can all be found at ConjaSouth.com. You will also find other amazing tools, supplies, formulas, literature, services, and more by the descendants of the ancestral magic you seek. Country South Publications, the world's first African-American traditional spiritual and healing publication company. You can find many of these amazing books, which are now available worldwide at ConjureSouth.com and Amazon.com. Enjoy. Bonjour, comment ça va? Je suis comme dos du de la cause périale mon nom dos de la ponte. I am Queen comme dos, the Hoodoo Queen of the Imperial Court of mon nom dos de la ponte, owner of comme dos Kanja, the creators and founders of the annual Udu Queen Kanja Fet, the proud owners of Kanja South, KanjaSouth.com, Kanja South Publications, and the Kanja South Hudu Institute of Traditional African American Kanja, Root Work, and Divination. Bienvenue sur mon chien. So if you are here today, I can only assume you are ready for your free weekly Zodiac readings. And if so, you know what we must do. Hit that subscribe button. I'll wait. In fact, I'll read a book. Merci beaucoup. I also need for you to give this video a thumbs up, leave a sweet, kind comment below, and make sure you hit your notification button so you know every time I'm leaving content or making a new post. Y'all ready for these readings? I sure hope so. Bienvenue. Welcome tonight. back. Again, I am Queen Comedos, the Hoodoo Queen. And welcome to my channel. This is your free weekly Zodiac readings. But before we begin any of that, I got to tell you about the announcements. There's not many. So listen to all of them. First and foremost, can I just say thank you? Thank you all so much. Y'all are coming through with these purchases. But more importantly, many of you have already received your Queen of Spades and Heavens and I Magic and your Mahia Mahia and Mama's Mojo with your free gifts um, uh, with purchases and whatnot. So I thank you so much for your purchases. I'm happy to see that you've gotten them. But I also want to remind you, please make sure that you take a picture of you and your book. One, tag the authors on Instagram or Facebook, whichever social media platform that you have, and including me, or at Conjure underscore South, and at Queen Co underscore Meadows. And also leave a review. You can leave a review at ConjureSouth.com. If you go to where you purchased your books, you pre-ordered your books, all you have to do is go to that page, scroll down to the bottom where it says comments, and leave, and you can also leave a rating. But also, if you've made your purchases via Amazon, leave a rating and review there as well. We would be so honored and blessed to um, have those reviews and ratings or whatever. My babies, this is our first releasing of these um, books. They are absolutely incredible, mind-blowing. Um, but as I am always transparent, it's going to be a space of growth. It will be a space of growth. So there's some things that we may like that we may have to revise or we dislike that we have to revise. There may be things that we like, but we like better. We may like something better. We have to go back and revise that. And it is a part of the process. It is growth, you know, so you can't, um, you know, you can get caught up on those little details and this, that and the third and really destroy a really great, wonderful thing. Or you can really find the value in what you have and allow the growth to take place, especially with the Country South um, publications. And um, so, yeah, so I just thank you so very much. 
More importantly, y'all know we love us some Eric and Alexis. So we are going to be doing an Insta greet tomorrow night so that you all can get with us with Mahia Mahia. They are going to teach us how to do a red charm bracelet, which you can find on page 39, 38 and 39. Okay. 38 and 39 a red charm bracelet. They're gonna show us step by step how this works, what needs to happen in order for you to do this. These kind of things are so simple, so practical, but just imagine creating this for your son or your daughter, especially right now in the time of the pandemic and all kinds of things. So be aware of that, all right? So tomorrow night, Instagram Live, Insta Greet with me and the authors of Mahia Mahia, at 8 p.m. Central Time, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, at Queen Co. underscore Meadows. I will make a post, I'll make a flyer so that you see it and hopefully that you'll join us tomorrow evening. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. Speaking on the books themselves, um, again, many people are receiving and have been receiving their um, pre-orders with their gifts of purchases. Please, 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 please understand this. Again, we are in the middle of a pandemic, meaning that everyone's not gonna get their books the next day, two days, three days. Um, again, when we sent the Haijan Mojoen, some people didn't receive them until a week and a half after we sent them. And I'm like, excuse me? What, what is, what, I, I'm sorry that you've, that you've gotten this, this so late, but once it leaves our hands, it's not on us. You know, so all of the pre-orders and all of those things have been um, sent out. And now that all the books are in stock, you know, we'll just send them out as the orders come in. But also just understand, I'm going to make some more stipulations on the website just surrounding the space of the pandemic and shipping. Some of you all do not get it. I don't know why. Um, I, 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 I don't understand it, but I'm not here to understand it. And I'm not going to exhaust myself and exert my energy repeating myself that there's a doggone airborne killer virus going around. Um, the, the presidential um, administration is are picking up postal um, collector, letter collectors and all of these things to slow down things at this time. You have to open your eyes completely, okay? Stop making it about you. Stop making it about you. And understand that there's other factors that go on and around. Me, myself, I'm gonna speak on this very quickly before I go any further. Understand that I am not accessible. I am not your trendy, windy, insta witch that just wants to have a lot of followers and popularity and all of those things. That's not me. My purpose is greater than popularity. Let me say that again. My purpose is greater than popularity. But most people need the popularity to validate your ashe, not I. Most people need the popularity to validate your talent. Not I, my baby. I was expressing my talents at the age of five right here in the Southeast publicly. I was working professionally under seventh grade, my baby, okay? A completely different situation. I don't need popularity to validate my wisdom and my knowledge, but many people do. Because my purpose is greater than popularity, I'm not that accessible. I am, I am working. I am working for you. So if you don't get, um, responses and those things right away is because she is taking care of business. There is not a moment that I am not, I have not actually become working, 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 which is getting in the way of my purpose and of me working. So again, this is why I'm creating different systems like the calendar on my website. Here we go. Calendar on the website. So if you are looking for a private reading from me, mediumship reading, um, tarot, oracle, whatever situation may be, it is available at ConjureSouth.com. The link will be below, but you must read the instructions. There are clear instructions and things that go into effect 
Understand this moment. When you make a purchase, okay, when you make a purchase now, it is in your court to choose your time slot. It is in your court to choose your day. You see my availability. If you don't read the instructions and you miss your reading, that's not on me. It's not for me to reschedule and it will not be rescheduled unless it is on me. If you pay for a 30 minute reading, but you choose a 10 minute time slot, I'm not going to go back and reschedule that. Why? Because now it is me taking somebody else's time in the future. You would be then essentially taking two spots instead of one spot. So, um, and that has happened because people aren't reading instructions and um, it's not me being rude. It is not me being personal. It is me being professional. My time is valuable. And when you are taking other people's time because you're not reading instructions, that is not okay. Now, mind you, I understand the calendar is new and there's glitches and there are things that um, we have to clean up on our end and I must be accountable for that and those things that I will be accountable for. But I can't be accountable for your actions, okay? And you have to understand that and it's just that simple. Again, it's not personal, it's not egotistical, it's not narcissistic, it is truly professional. And when you start treating your business like a business, others will as well. Now, I know some people try to get slick with it. This hasn't happened yet with the calendar, but I know how some of y'all's egos go. You get slick because you made a 30 minute, you purchased a 30 minute reading, but you were so quick to choose a time slot that you chose a 10 10 minute time slot. And because you only get 10 minutes, you want to try to go back and reverse the order. I highly caution you to do that. When I provide you with a service, when I provide you with work, and some of y'all think because um, either you've heard from me or um, if, if you, if you, until you hear from me, it hasn't been completed. That's not correct. I normally start all my spiritual working within three days of me getting the work, the, the, the payment. And normally it takes somewhere between five, seven, nine, sometimes 21 days. And I try to communicate that during the consultation. But if you are so brave, no, excuse me. If you are so foolish to reverse your purchase because of your ego, that's not very smart. Just saying. So with all of that, um, I know this is pretty heavy, but it needs to be communicated and it has to be communicated because when you aren't following the directions on the website, especially when it comes to readings, it doesn't affect you. It affects me and affects the person after you and the person that really needs a reading next week, but now I'm having to reschedule. So please, please read the instructions and follow them completely. If you don't understand, then reach out. But again, understand, I'm not that accessible. I am incredibly busy, okay? Um, And I'm blessed, I'm blessed. And let me tell you this, when I say that I'm blessed and I'm busy, it's not that, oh, I'm just doing a whole lot, I'm just making money. No, a lot of the times is me just having to be in the space of ritual for hours. And that's part of it. Um, Sometimes, It is me having to um, be on the phone to talk somebody off of a ledge um, because they've they've purchased a a 10, uh, a a 30 minute reading and they're in a space of suicidal thoughts and feelings and emotions, you know. And so it's all of those things. And um, just be aware, be um, observe, aware, be aware um, recognize things beyond yourself. Get out of ego to make it simply, to put it simply, right? So, um, the next thing is I still have to make the video about this prophecy because I don't want the prophecy to happen without, I don't want it to happen first. And then people say, oh, well, you just saying it because now that it's happened. So I hope to make the video tomorrow and maybe posting it on Wednesday. Um, and things don't manifest before then, but it's possible. 
I also need to I also need to mention that I'm just writing down all the zodiac signs so that I don't miss any because sometimes I get off track. Y'all know how we get sometimes. Um, so the next thing is I have not done a um, community service. I don't think I am actually. Um, I have to really put some energy into myself. Um, through the publication company, my institute, oh my goodness, y'all my babies. When I tell you the students that have applied and they have and that have enrolled, and let me say that enrollment, fall enrollment for the Country South Hoodoo Institute is closed. Fall enrollment for the Fall Hoodoo Institute is is um is is closed. Okay. We will have open enrollment again um later on, but right now it is closed. But anyway, so because I am working on, I won't say a whole lot of things, but really big things, things that really, really matter. Like I have a, I have a, a group of students that need all of me. When y'all are taking my classes, I want you to have all of me. When I'm doing the free weekly zodiac readings, I want y'all to have all of me. I don't want to be up here hmm, and all of those things be, because I'm just going, 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 going. And so, um, so anyways. I, I, I will get that video out to you all and all of that jazz. But let's get into these free weekly Zodiac readings. So if y'all are excited about this free weekly Zodiac readings, I really would love for you to um, give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you share the video. Um, the, the Zodiac readings really, really supply a lot of great information. I will be using the Hoodoo Queen Tarot. Um, the Hoodoo Queen Tarot is the elevation version of the Hoodoo Queen conjure tarot and um these are available at conjuresouth.com when i do the free weekly zodiac readings i go from capricorn to sagittarius capricorn to sagittarius okay my babies y'all ready here we go starting with capricorns and listen y'all need to be watching all of these because we're made up of so many we're made up of so many zodiac signs capricorns you get the card of the seed reverse the card of the seed reverse. The seed reverse tells us that you actually, my dear, are going to have some issues with manifesting things this week. Manifesting things is going to be a little bit of a, of a trouble. But let me help you understand this when it comes to manifestation. All right. And there are delays. Delays are truly divine moments of divine clarity. Because you're not manifesting things at warp speed on Amazon Prime Time, understand that with divine time, this delay gives you more opportunity to prepare for the manifestation, give you more opportunity for the blessing that is about to come. A delay is not a denial. A um, no is not a never. It is a not now. And a lot of times what I've seen is the ancestors say, yes, baby, we're going to give you 10 steps. And you get on that 10th step and right before you make the step, the ancestors say, baby, has not matured. Their spiritual muscles or their physical muscles or their financial muscles have not matured enough to handle these blessings. So let's give them a couple, a, a couple more steps so that they um, mature. Okay, so that's what that is today. Aquarius. Aquarius, you get the card of, excuse me here, you get the card of the bell, okay? The card of the bell tells us that you need to be alert on the um, signs, symbols, signals, warnings. Do not dismiss. It says this week, the signs you've been looking for, you're going to get. The sign that you've been looking for is now. So if you were looking for a sign, this is that sign. Okay. You don't have to look no farther, but if you are looking farther, understand that that sign that you're looking for, that clarity that you're looking for is going to present itself. Make sure that you are going to accept that sign and not go, oh, well, I need another sign. I just want to be sure. If you see smoke, my baby, it's fire. If you jump in water, you're wet. You ain't dry. 
okay so really really understand that particular space and point all right that's for you my aquarians pisces pisces honestly i saw this card before i picked it up but you i literally i saw the card and i heard me say this i heard me say this before i even picked it up but you get the card of the hourglass the hourglass pisces tell you that this week this is about time management recognizing and knowing the value of your time recognize and understanding that your time is incredibly valuable and when you have work to do do not procrastinate this is not the time to be procrastinating there is no time to be procrastinating to be honest but if you do procrastinate and you do not recognize the value of your time, you will end up laying your blessings down in places where they will take root, where they will not thrive and they will not grow. OK, so really be aware of that space of time management, the value of time, the importance of time. OK, very, very, very important with my Pisces. So um, and I also want you. There is something else here that is coming up with the Pisces, something that I'm hearing surrounding time. There, there, there's, there's, this, there's this energy right now of queen, you're not, you're not done speaking on this space of time for the Pisces. So I'm assuming there's someone's ancestor that is coming through, but they're not coming through strongly. And so I'm not really hearing them, but with that being said, and because I don't want to continue to linger on this situation, really make yourself aware of where you're putting your energy, where you're putting your time, who you're giving your time to, why you're putting your time there. Are you seeing a return on the investment of your time? All of those things. Okay. And you may want to work with time as in the herbal spiritual ally. Aries, Aries, you get the card of the Arvis Reverse. The card of the Arvis Reverse tells us that what you expected to manifest this week will not be manifesting. This tells us that your crop is not mature. So this is different than the seed reverse, which says you are not mature. This says your crop isn't mature. So yes, my babe and my Aries, you're ready. You're ready to receive, but your 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 orchard of 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 grapevines has no fruit, or your grapes have just formed and they are not ripe. So if you choose to pick and pluck those fruit understand that you are choosing a sour result you are choosing a sour a sour a sour consequence okay so understand um give your crop more time nurture it a little bit longer this is not the week to benefit from that taurus Taurus, you get the card of bittersweet. Bittersweet tells us that this week there will be some definite endings that come about your life, but there will be some definite new and beautiful beginnings that come about your life. So let me help you understand this, my baby. If you resist, if you resist the ending, if you resist the death, if you resist the, 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 um, the completion of the cycle, you are then essentially and literally resisting the blessing that is to come after that death, after that completion, after or in that new life. So wherever you see completion, wherever you see ending, let it be done. Let it be so. Okay. Gemini. Gemini, you get the card of justice. The card of justice says things that have done you wrong, things that have been wrongly done to you, things that does not seem un things that have seemed unfair, things that don't seem um, quite right, chaotic, imbalanced. Understand that that will be restored, that balance will be had, um, that justice will be served, that those that have done you wrong will re will reap the wrong that they have done. So you should be able to move into this week 
more smoothly with a deeper with a deeper space of um peace a deeper space of um, satisfaction. That is the word. You should step into this week, my Geminis, with satisfaction. All right? Step into this week with satisfaction. Um, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini. Okay. So um, just making sure I looked down at the paper and I got myself confused really quick. But stepping into this week with satisfaction is very important. The way, the reason why satisfaction is important um is because it really allows you to go, I don't have to, I've done my work, I've done my part, and they are going to reap what they have sown. I have done my work, I've done my part, the universe will give them back what they have given. I have done my work, I've done my part, the ancestors will make sure these things. So when you, so, so it's a space of security. You should be secure in your emotions, in your finances, in your wealth, in your love, in your relationships. You should be secure in your, men, in your mental state of being, in your spiritual state of being, in a space of satisfaction where there's no scattered energy or discord, disagreement, um, different values, okay? Cancers. Cancers, you get the card of the fish, poisson we will see. Poisson we will see. That's the fish reverse. The fish reverse tells us that there's nothing conceiving this week. There's nothing really happening this week. There's nothing really going on this week. So my thing is, if there is nothing really going on, if there's nothing really manifesting, then start planting some seeds. Make some ideas. Get some things in order. Put things into preparation to begin to plant some seeds. If nothing is going on, make something going on. This is one of those things where, um, you know, it's it's a matter of either you create your week or you're going to let this week happen to you. With that being said, I know that I'm on cancers. I know that this is a message that somebody needs to hear. So please listen up. Saying yes to life allows you to experience. It allows you to um, to discover, it allows you to, um, to, to explore, saying yes to life gives you that, okay? So, say yes to life, but saying no to life gives you the ability to structure that life. It forms the life you want. So, let me say this again. Saying yes to life allows you to explore Acknowledge, experience, discover life. Seeing no to life allows you to groom the life you wish to live. So with that being said, with this week, don't just allow this week to be. Create the week that you want. Okay? Put the work in. Leo. Leo, my baby, you get the card of... Um, Liz and Marie, we will see. Liz and Wangwu is the lover's reverse. The lover's reverse tells us that there will be a space of this cold disagreement between you and a relationship. This could be romantic. It could be personal, a personal back and forth. It could be a um, professional. Um, it, it could be a spiritual. But there's a space of different value, a space of this cold disagreement. And so you have to be very clear on that there's a space of differences this week that you're just going to run into so if there is a space of differences if you so choose you can also create a space of understanding by opening yourself up by listening by not talking but listening taking it in dissecting dissecting it assessing the situation and going from there but this week it shows a space of separation a week of different values going in different directions and it is just what it is, okay? Virgo. Virgo, you get the card of the Divine Masculine Reverse. The Divine Masculine Reverse tells us that and there is, it's, a, it's, a, it's a twofold situation. What you are depending on will more than likely not 
fulfill those obligations or responsibilities. One. Two, who and or what is depending on you will not have those things follow through or follow through. Wow. Those things will not be. Um, how would you say that? Those things will not be fulfilled. There we go. Those things will not be fulfilled. The things um, will, will, will not fall through, I guess. I don't know. That's going to bother me now. So now I'm in this space of follow. Like, anyways. Anyways, I'm gonna let that go and I'm gonna I'm gonna let that thing mess with me after the free weekly zodiac readings. So, anyways, there's a space where you are not going to fulfill your obligations. You're gonna drop the ball. Let me tell you how that happens. Oftentimes, when we fill our plate with too much, we end up dropping the ball in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And it's not that you're trying to. You're trying to get to babies this. You're trying to go cook that. You're trying to make your work out. And you're doing so many things you haven't prioritized. Let me say this again before I even said it. You have not prioritized your priorities, okay? You have not prioritized your priorities. So the ball is dropped, okay? It's interesting. Um, I love these bracelets, but there is something about the energy of these that isn't i don't know they were vibing with me for a moment but for whatever reason right then right there it was like mm -mm, let's come on up off and i'm good with that now i feel free like a bird so just keep that in mind i want you to stay focused so that you can fulfill what you're supposed to fulfill all right and those things that do not come through for you, that you are depending on, um, understanding that they're probably also Virgos and they're going through the same thing you're going through. Okay. Let me just go through and go through these very quickly. Capricorn, the scene. Aries, the bell. Pisces, the hourglass. Excuse me. Yes, Pisces, the hourglass. Aries, the... Um, harvest, reverse. Okay. Taurus, bittersweet. Gemini, justice. Cancer, poisson, revolsi. Leo, Lizzo my ruby will see. Virgo, divine masculine, reversed. Libra. Libra, you get the cards of the Queen's Mercy reversed. The Queen's Mercy reversed talks about suffering. You know, my baby, this is very interesting. It's very interesting, actually. I think to myself about um, a couple of things. But let me explain to you all what suffering is suffering is not going through a difficult time suffering is going through a difficult time when you don't know why it's happening okay this is um it's horrible but what a lot of people don't recognize what suffering is it's so funny it's so funny how this works but if you are choosing to stay in an environment that you know that is dysfunctional, abusive, um, lack of communication, lack of, um, of, of resources, um, don't put that on past issues. It's that issue right then, right there. But when you are choosing to stay in this, you're not suffering. You are self-mutilating. You are self-deteriorating. You are self-depleting. That is not the same as suffering. When you are going through something, when you are not growing through, but when you are going through something that, is, that isn't letting up, um, and you have no idea why and all of those things that is suffering. 
This is living in a space that you cannot change. That is suffering. So for you, my Libras, this week, there's a space of suffering. But I must ask you, what is your definition of suffering? Well, is it not bringing in enough money? Now, mind you, you making money, you making good money, but it may not be the money you want. Is that suffering to you? That And it's something you can't change because it could be that superficial or it could be something more physical. Um, but I'm interested to I'm, I'm interested to see where that is for you. So the space of suffering is, is a horrible card. There's nothing that you can really you, you can't do anything about that. Um, other than recognizing, excuse me, queen, how dare I say this? Say that you can't do nothing about it. I'm going to give you your solution. There's always solutions. That's the great thing about traditional spirituality and divination. There's always a solution. Your solution is this, my Libras. Identify the source of your pain. Identify the source of your pain and release it. Identify the source of your depletion and release it. Identify the source of your um, heart ache, your heart ache and release it. That is going to keep this space from suffering, from being a part of your life. Scorpio. Scorpio, you get the cards of the heart. Passion. This says that this week is about motivation. This week is about um, strength, intention, drive. So this is this is a week where you need to buckle up, buckle up, buttercup, okay? Buckle it on up and go ahead and prepare yourself to take this week by the horns and make it your own. This is really seen that you need to be motivated this week. You need to have goals, plans, ideas in, 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 in order and priority and space, knowing what you're going to do, what you want to do, put some fire up under the bottom and go get it. Go get it. Um, you may have to fight for it, but it says that the space of motivation is what you need. You need motivation this week. That motivation is that passion and that passion, that motivation fuels your purpose. That motivation, and that passion fuels your profession. So two totally different things, but that's what the spirits are holding close to you this week. All right. And Sagittarius's hallelujah, holly, hallelujah, Halloween holidays. Listen, my baby, Sagittarius is we have been going through it. It's so funny because it is what it is. But we get the card of the crown. I get the crown back, my baby. So the crown tells us to he or she who may be king or queen must wear the crown. This tells us that we will be able to fulfill our heavy obligations and responsibilities. This says that we don't have a lot on our plate this week and that we will fulfill and handle those things with finesse, class, and all of those things, all right? This makes me so happy because as a Sagittarius, I'm like, I have so much to do, so much to do, so much to do. But this tells us that we will be able to do those things beautifully, efficiently, and that we won't have any problems with that. So, um, yeah. It's just that simple. It is that simple, that clear. Um, but I also want to say to whom much is given, much is expected and required. And so we're given a lot this week. Or we may have a lot on our plate. We're gonna we're gonna fulfill those things. We're going to come through with all of those things. But I also want you to understand that with your crown, that there is respect and there must be acknowledgement that is given. All right. Speaking of crowns and all of those things, I cannot leave off this part. Monday, again, we are doing an Insta greet with the authors of Mahia Mahia, right? Wednesday evening, we are doing a royal Insta greet with myself and Queen Mother Dawuti Desir um, as we talk the connection and relation between hoodoo and voodoo. Queen Mother is the Queen Mother of Beninwa Vodun from Benin. So you can't go any So everyone wants to be Asagoy, Asagoy, and priest, priest, priest. There's no higher than king and queen of Vodun. And she, so she is the Queen Mother of Vodun. And then you have um, 
Dada, who's the king. And um, these are my go-tos. And she's actually the um, the um, Asogui, um, Mumbo Asogui of Societe Minokon, which I'm also a part of. So anyways, I would love for you all to join us this Wednesday, um, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern. We're going to get into all of that asking, answering questions. I will be making a little questionnaire on Instagram and in my story. If you have any questions surrounding the differences or the comparisons between hoodoo and voodoo, hoodoo and voodoo, I know I'm talking a little fast, go and leave your answer, your, your questions there. Um, I thank you so very much for watching today. I very much appreciate you. Please remember to get into these books, get into some of these spells and whatnot. Um, leave your reviews and your ratings and all of those things. Merci beaucoup. Je suis Commandos of Renaudou de la Cosa Imperial Milner Mendoza de la Pound. I am Queen Commandos, the Hoodoo Queen of the Imperial Court of Milner Mendoza de la Pound. And um, thank you so much for watching.